One of the greatest opportunities for mobile operators is to combine edge computing and 5G to drive new service development and innovation, especially in the enterprise services sector. Well, to find out how this can be achieved and the benefits for CSPs and end users, I'm talking today to Vinod Joseph, technical leader, APJ and China for service provider and edge business unit at VMware, and Sangho Shin, Senior Manager, Head of Cloud, MEC Tech at SK Telecom. So thank you both for joining us today. Uh, can you tell us about the partnership between SK Telecom and VMware that is focused on driving innovation in the 5G and mobile edge computing sector? Uh, Sangho, can you tell us about this, please? SK Telecom has um, developed the MEC solution together with the VMware so for the last two years. And I think the, uh, there are two points that are important for the MEC platforms. Uh, the first one is the carrier grade operation tools. And uh, probably the second one is the uh, cloud features. Uh, SK Telecom has been operating the uh, telecommunication systems for the, uh, more than 20 years. And we have a tremendous know-how about the uh, operations. In the meantime, the VMA is, uh, as you know, the global top global uh, cloud solution company. SKT MEC 2.0 solution has uh, integrated all the know-how of the uh, telco system operations for the last 20 years and the two years of the MEC service operation and the deployment. SKT MEC solution is uh, integrated with uh, VMA solution, vSphere and the TKG. So uh, using the SKT's MEC platform manager, that our users can create the uh, VMs and the Kubernetes clusters and enjoy the excellent cloud features of the uh, uh, VMAR. And also, the VMAR is reading the ORAN technology. If we put together the VMAR's ORAN technology and the SKT's MEC in a single box, and then if you can provide it to a customer in a very uh, cost efficient way, it would be a great innovation in the 5G MEC business. Okay, that sounds like a, a great collaboration there. Uh, Vinod, let's come to you now. Uh, what are the benefits of deploying edge native applications on the VMware platform? So the deployment at the edge actually warrants the need for a cloud layer more than ever. Uh, and the reason is when you deploy applications at the edge, uh, these applications essentially are a new breed as what we call them edge native applications. Uh, they require features around uh, mobility, high availability, uh, and also uh, stateful movement of these applications, maybe from one ABC outlet to the other. And that's why the Telco Cloud Platform from VMware, which essentially runs Kubernetes on the vSphere layer, becomes incre increasingly important. It could provide you with sub-second convergence and failover and resilient mechanisms that make the solution extremely attractive. Uh, and the benefits that you get with the Telco Cloud Platform running on vSphere obviously far outweigh uh, the deployment considerations of running Kubernetes on bare metal, because the bare metal is definitely not a cloud layer. It essentially is just a metal service that has no intelligence at all. Uh, together with this, I think the options of using telco cloud automation, which essentially is the orchestration and lifecycle management layer um, from VMware, provides um, flexibility to customers who want to onboard network functions, applications, and also who want to actually lifecycle their platform. Uh, you know, how do I do lifecycle management without having uh, any downtime? How do I do hitless upgrades? How do I do uh, enforcement of policies within the infrastructure layer? How do I bring in intelligence at the infrastructure layer? So these are some of the attributes that the telco cloud automation layer brings into the solution. Uh, and last but not the least, when you actually are deploying edge solutions for enterprises, for the enterprise 5G use case, obviously there is a need to deploy um, the RAN applications to virtualize the radio and furthermore to deploy an open VRAN ecosystem, um, you know, to deploy a 5G core infrastructure. And I think that's where the VMware Telco Cloud Platform really doubles up as being a value addition uh, in building this entire end-to-end -end infrastructure with SKT. Um, last but not the least, obviously, is the operations and management. How do I have uh, 360 degree visibility into the applications and infrastructure that is being deployed across distributed edges or at an enterprise edge. How do I perform root cause analysis over the applications that are deployed on my radio or even the applications that are deployed from my core? Uh, how do I have um, closed loop remediation? How do I have automation whenever there is an event, whenever there is an outage? So I think totally with an integrated solution with VMware and SKT, you have a new dimension to deploying edge native applications for the different use cases. 
So what are the use cases for enterprises? How can an integrated 5G and mobile edge computing platform help with enterprise industry 4.0 strategies? Uh, Sangho, let's come to you first. Uh, SK Telecom has commercialized the MEC services, the, uh, such as AR, VR, uh, like the dosing service for tourists, and also the uh, AR navigation for a large enterprise, uh, large shopping mall, and like there was the load monitoring service, and also the uh, quarantine monitoring system at the Incheon Airport. And uh, as I have uh, already introduced in my last talks, and we are also planning uh, the more use cases of such as like the uh, VR based education system for uh, manufacturers. And um, actually, the uh, SKT has been driving the MEC Global uh, business for the last two years. And then uh, we found out that use cases are the most important. Now, whenever we meet our customers and we are getting like questions like the, uh, on what we can do with the five GMECs, well, like, can you please recommend any good MEC use cases? And now we have decided to provide the MEC service together with the, uh, some, uh, MEC, our MEC platform uh, solution which is the, our industrial vertical MEC platform, uh, media MEC and vision AI MEC. The media MEC provides next generation uh, broadcasting system and also some immersive media features. Uh, the next generation broadcasting system provides the built-in functions for broadcasting system, such as uh, encoder, like multiplexer, like uh, the decoder with the virtualized format so that all the configurations can be controlled in a media MEC. And also it provides the uh, chaining function of the old features and then any broadcasting system can be easily uh, configured with the uh, GUI uh, of the uh, SKT MEC solution. And probably uh, the, we, uh, the, the, our users can uh, provide uh, the, the 8K video using uh, the HD well, 4K live feed by upscaling using our media MEC. So, and also now we are doing POC in a domestic broadcasting company and also um, in uh, the major global broadcasting company in the US. And uh, media MEC also provides some immersive media such as Cloud VR. And we think the Cloud VR is the maybe key application for the MEC. And as you know, the, uh, if the VR is rendered at the cloud and we can provide 100 times better quality. And using the edge, we found out that we can provide a low latency of the interaction. Uh, so I think the uh, probably uh, the cloud VR is also the uh, key uh, service of the MEC. And lastly, the vision AI, vision AI also is a kind of a critical use case for MEC. And the SKT vision AI MEC provides the built-in AI inference module, such as like the object recognition. And also it provides some GUI-based composer and the users can easily build their own AI MEC service using that, uh, that tools. And actually, the SKT has built Animal X-ray the, uh, the analysis service using our system. And then we are doing some kind of pre-runch service with the, uh, several animal hospitals in Korea. Okay. Thank you, Sangho. And uh, Vinod, from your perspective, how can an integrated 5G and MEC platform help with enterprise industry 4.0 strategies? Yeah, I think one of the most important aspects is um, the cost efficiency of this type of a deployment. Uh, private 5G, obviously, or enterprise 5G is becoming mainstream. I mean, it's just picking up from where private LTE was, and I think there's going to be a much more larger market here. Obviously, when you want to deploy a private 5G solution, there are some architectural nuances about, um, you know, where do you deploy the core and where do you deploy the edge or the RAN, to be precise? I mean, is it going to be on-premise? Is it going to be co-located at SKT's premises? So different customers have different views and preferences in the type of architecture here. Uh, ORAN is going to be an integral part here as well. Um, now, the VMware platform is obviously a infrastructure building block that provides you with uh, a RAN optimized uh, layer that you could deploy a ORAN application on, you could deploy a core applications on uh, with VMware um, and there are what we call as the near real time RAN intelligent controller. You have customers who can actually deploy um, open RAN compliant applications uh, and obviously drive innovation and programmability in the infrastructure. So working with SKT, obviously we are exploring these different avenues to deploy enterprise uh, private 5G infrastructure. Um, and um, SKT themselves has already uh, made some giant, giant leaps in terms of um, integrating their MEC ecosystem and orchestration layer with um, the different 
uh, network equipment providers for the RAN and the core. Um, and VMware obviously has a pretty large partner ecosystem here where we have onboarded and tested uh, different vendors, RAN applications, ORAN um, applications, as well as the 5G core application suite as well. Um, so I think an integrated solution here gives end customers the benefit of choosing the architecture that they want um, and have a total end-to-end -end solution from SKT and VMware um, that can be deployed based on their preferences. Okay, uh, so really compelling use cases there. Thank you. Um, uh, and Vinod, can you tell us about the potential use of the mobile edge computing solution by global CSPs? So yeah, this is an extremely interesting market and many CSPs today are looking at deploying services at the edge for enterprises and consumers and so on. But the challenge is how do you bring together the different building blocks, the different pieces? Uh, you have solutions from different vendors, you have solutions from hyperscalers. Now, how do I actually bring all of them to reality? How do I create the orchestration and management layer uh, to have a multi-vendor solution here? And how can I actually create a service offering? And more importantly, how do I integrate this with my uh, billing systems, right? That's the other challenge as well. I think with the SKT VMware MEC solution, you have a CSP themselves uh, being in the industry and building these solutions for the last two years bring to the market an end-to-end -end solution with VMware that SKT um, and VMware can actually support over a period of time for CSPs. So from a CSP standpoint, it becomes easier to bring in this solution off the shelf and deploy that. And as part of the entire process, I think the overall framework between SKT and VMware um, supports open APIs, so it makes onboarding of any third-party applications from ISVs or vendors or even the hyperscalers much more easier. Uh, it gives them the ability to create this so-called MEC grid uh, that can be federated over a period of time, so you can actually provide a global fabric of federated MEC services. So I think in that context, it kind of gives uh, CSP is a head start to actually work with VMware and SKT and take a edge solution to, to the market and then start focusing on how they can monetize it. Okay, that sounds like it, it ticks a lot of boxes for CSPs there. Now, in what ways have SK Telecom and VMware carved out a, a thought leadership position in the 5G edge computing sector? What makes your solution unique? Uh, Sangho, let's start with you. Uh, the many people are asking the why SKT is developing the MEC solution. The, uh, the reason is that SKT has commercialized the several MEC service and deployed the enterprise edges so far. And now we know what is required for the MEC business and operation better than anyone else. So uh, with integrating the older experiences and know-how so far, SKT has developed uh, all the new MEC solutions, SKT MEC 2.0. And another one is that like the SKT is also working with the major standard organize, uh, organizations like the uh, uh, ETSI and the uh, 3GPP and GSMA. As you know, the ETSI has been uh, reading the uh, standard, standardization of the MEC uh, maybe first, and then uh, the SKT MEC is also following the ETSI. But uh, recently, the main discussion point of the MEC in the standard organization is the MEC federations. MEC federation is connecting the heterogeneous MEC platforms. So why do we need it? Uh, let's say that we have uh, uh, global MEC service uh, providers and then they want to uh, you know, launch the, their service globally. Then they have to contact the, uh, the telcos, each telcos like, one by one. That may then it will take a long time. Let's say that we have kind of the single entity that has connection with the many uh, telcos. Then they just need to talk to that single entity which has been already federated the, uh, the MEC. So we have already done such a POC with the Bridge Alliance for the last, uh, last two years. And we have done, uh, we have implemented the Edge Hub uh, with the Bridge Alliance together with the Sintel. And then uh, we have confirmed that the uh, service uh, providers can easily deploy uh, their service easily using uh, the single entity, which is called uh, Federated Edge Hub and deploy to the uh, uh, to the old telcos. And also, uh, they can get kind of the single bill from the, the single entity, and then they can uh, really uh, do uh, kind of the MEC service business very easily. That's kind of the one point. And another point is that, which is called MEC roaming. Probably this is a little bit uh, far from now. However, let's say that our customers, uh, 
like the uh, the moves or the uh, the goes to the foreign country, and then they want to get the same service even in the foreign countries. Then we have to deploy the our the same MEC service in that country. In that case, um, if uh, our MEC is federated with that uh, that MEC in that country, we can deploy the our MEC service in that country, and then we can provide the our MEC service not only in the domestic, also we can provide the same service in the foreign country. That's kind of another point of the uh, the MEC uh, federations. Okay, well, I mean, that sounds like it would be of interest to uh, a lot of operators bringing your experience to, to the market there. Um, Vinod, let's come to you. From your perspective, what makes this solution unique? I think a couple of things. One is SKT has made sure that this entire solution follows the Etsy defined standards. Um, so the entire integration between the SKT ecosystem and the VMware solution has been completely integrated using standard APIs. Um, that's the first part. The second part is obviously uh, there is a lot of joint thought leadership around extending the solution towards a federated approach where, like Dr. Songo pointed out, we are working together in terms of how we can extend this to create a unified catalog of edge services that could be shared across operators. And the next step, obviously, would be to, to create roaming services. So you could have, for instance, a V2X user um, seamlessly travel across two geographies uh, between two nations um, and still have the level of service and um, uh, autonomy that he needs. So you're going to have a new explosion of use cases that is going to really uh, come to mainstream. And I think this is happening at a time where the industry today is trying to visualize and say, what is the killer application for the edge? Uh, the good thing with the SKT partnership is that we've identified um, these use cases. We've been able to deploy numerous trials. We have uh, and I think SKT has also deployed quite a few of these applications in production as well uh, for both enterprise 5G and the distributed edge use cases. And we are actually taking the next step here. So I think when we uh, work with our prospective customers who are end customers like CSPs, uh, it obviously makes a lot of difference because they can actually get a head start um, by taking a fairly mature and forward-looking solution uh, into their deployment. They don't need to really worry um, or be concerned about how they build and develop these interfaces um, and standards because they already have uh, two partners in SKT and VMware who are actually working here and providing a lot of um, leadership within the industry and some of the standard bodies as well. Um, obviously, VMware from our side, we continue to work with the Etsy and you know, uh, consortiums like the Operators Platform Group. We continue to engage um, with the Open Grid Alliance, which is another consortium here that is driving um, you know, innovation when it comes to the edge and, and providing a global um, uh, MEC grid, if you may. So a lot of this kind of is synergized, and I think um, the learnings together are bring, brought together into, into, into the go-to-market product that both these companies are, are bringing for our end customers. Okay, well, that sounds like a, a great collaboration in what is a, a very important uh, area of development in the industry. Uh, Vinod Sangho, thanks very much for joining us today and sharing your insights with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.